Tesla is always doing the best. Fossil fuel is dying. Not because I'm about clean energy, just because it's more effective and efficient. Shout out to Hawaii. We have a phrase called Ai Kamealoa, meaning more so colloquial. In Hawaiian, we have a phrase called Ai Kamealoa, meaning more so colloquially, use what you have readily available. And in Hawaii, we have a lot of sun, we have a lot of wind, we have a lot of rain, we have a lot of waves, and we have a lot of lava with our volcanoes. <laughs> So it's often said that Hawaii's energy transition is a postcard from the future. We've been really excited that the Kapolei Energy Storage System is actually proving the grid forming technology that's going to be so important to stabilizing the grid in the future. We started working on this project in the beginning of 2018. The idea was to be able to move the island away from coal, add additional renewable energy, and help Hawaiian Electric meet their goal of 100% renewable energy by 2045. And, and guys, remember, I always tell you guys about this power pack. You mostly don't see it, so here it is at full scale. You guys might think it's small projects, or you might think of the power wall that's installed inside someone's home. This is the energy department that is currently providing revenue, currently 20% of profit. This is going to be very massive and important. And we're currently building out the mega factory, mega, mega meaning mega pack and factory inside of Shanghai, China. Once that comes online and ramps, it's going to get ridiculous. It's going to get insane. It's going to show on the finances, but we haven't seen it yet. We only have one factory in California, but once this gets taken off, it's going to change the game, guys. And now allows for the sunsetting of one of the dirtiest polluters in our community. So the coal power plant is no more, and partly because of the storage facility that we have today. There are 158 megapacks on the site. That is 185 megawatts, 565 megawatt hours, roughly equivalent to the capacity of the coal plant that was recently retired. Okay, so equivalent, because there are going to be people in the comment section talking about, well, it ain't enough, and what if it don't sun, and the sun don't shine, and saying all types of idiotic stuff because they just don't know how the technology works. I'm pretty sure they would have been the same people talking about, we'll see how far that car goes in comparison to my horse. Yeah, I got an Arabian stallion. I got an American bred horse, and it's different than your little clicky clackety Model T. Tired. This facility is able to power 20% of the electrical need at its peak on the island of Oahu. But it turns out, despite all the technology we have nowadays, the electric grid is more fragile than what people really expect. Clouds come over, a storm comes through, the wind stops blowing. The grid doesn't adapt to quick changes very well. And so a battery energy storage system can manage those fluctuations, kind of buffer that so it keeps the grid stable and even. And hopefully you don't get the blackout that you would get if that service wasn't there. We worked with Plus Power and Tesla together. We're really pioneers in developing this project and incorporating the kinds of grid services that we are benefiting from today. So the incredibly fast response time of Megapax inverters mean that Plus Power can participate in any kind of market service available. So not just energy shifting or reserve capacity, but providing frequency support or voltage support, keeping the grid balanced on a million a second basis and on a millisecond basis most of you guys are it, it's over your head just know that it's effective and efficient most of the stuff is over your head and you have to take time to actually do some research on the energy grid, energy grid and see how it works and if you do that then you can understand a lot from the converters to the transformers and to the actual generation i mean this battery pack and this storage is adding an extra element and an extra step inside of the process which is just securing your energy and energy security is something that's going to be very important going into the future with artificial intelligence and databases coming online. Balanced on a millisecond basis. And that required the battery to operate much more quickly than what a typical battery does or what any traditional power plant would typically do. So the Kapolei energy storage system has black start capability, which means when you have a power outage, when all the lights are out, power goes down, it's one of those resources that can help bring it back up. Wherever you put a renewable energy project in place, you're in someone's neighborhood or very close to it. And so having meetings with the community, getting their acceptance, their support is really important to make sure that. See, so we still got to get Normie support. So don't be mad about it yet. Give me a second. Okay, so there we go. We still got Normie's permission that is required. So don't get all mad about this coming into your neighborhood. You got to approve it. Let's continue. Make sure that project can get done. 
A core value of Plus Power is being excellent partners and members of our community. Development is all about relationships, and we were extremely proud to have the support of Local Neighborhood 34, as well as the Honolulu Fire Department. So when we had the official meeting for the final vote before the board in order to actually whether or not recommend the project moving forward or not, the vote was unanimous. It's very exciting. It's going to be good for Hawaii and all of our communities. It'll be a model for the nation and hopefully for the rest of the world. I hope so, too. Shout out to Plus Power. Plus Power decided to make the decision. Let's see what people are saying in the comment section. Probably a little bit pro, of course, the project because this is a Tesla channel, but it makes so much sense. Islands bring brimming with cheap, sustainable energy sources should not be importing coal, oil, and gas on a massive scale, at least right now, right? The technology is here. Again, I'm not using some type of rhetoric where it's talking about climate change. I'm just using the rhetoric. And when the technology becomes effective and efficient, we utilize the technology. End the statement, right? It's nothing else. It's not about climate change. It's not about what's right for the planet. I'm just talking about what's right as far as common sense goes, right? And if we could just filter the noise and to look at what Tesla is doing in the energy space, it's unprecedented. And there is no other company in the world that, that has a huge effect in accelerating the world towards sustainable and renewable energy. Love to see stories like this and to never stop improving Tesla. This is facts, right? Once all the noise goes away, whether it's Elon or not, I don't care. I'm looking at the basis of the company, right? We're looking at the energy space. I'm not even having to have conversations around EVs anymore because I'm talking about EVs. People are still on EVs, electric vehicle, and they haven't even started to see EB, electric batteries, right? ES, electric storage. This is a segment that I'm focused on before we get into conversations about FSD, right? Robo taxis, robots. I'm just focusing on, bro, have you seen the energy department? And then actually accelerating the world's sustainable energy, not just grandstanding like most. That's a big statement, guys. Most people are out here signing summons, Paris Climate Accords, and all this other nonsense is still producing ICE vehicles. Sign, signing Climate Accords, and that's about it. Like, bro, show me the technology that you guys are creating that's going to change the game. And there is no technology. It's just talk, right? It's just regulation. Are you going to put your goddamn recyclables in glass, paper, cardboard, whatever? That That's the biggest thing they're doing over there, right? While we're over here recreating the way we actually generate energy and then also the way we actually storage energy and what we do after we generate the energy. So we're actually achieving energy security while they're just being insecure right they're not helping at the end of the day and super inspirational tesla power team keep up this great work if only every home could have a battery so many problems will be solved well fortunately hopefully that happens right the vp plants in places like australia are just ridiculous look that up vvp australia and you'll know more about that this is what the actual transition to sustainable energy looks like thanks for showing that is possible right now exactly this is what it looks like it doesn't look like recycling bin it looks like this i love tesla just got my first model y in 2024 in the uk and it's the perfect car i have been dreaming for years of getting one and congratulations for you actually getting it guys again tesla is out here delivering a lot of people are lip singing a lot of people are signing climate accords they're actually smiling and they're thinking they're doing something paris climate agreement right they're there smiling shaking hands acting like they really went in and then they're not creating any technology right that's what i always liked about tesla and especially elon musk here we go look we're holding hands signing signing things but not creating no technology creating no progress no product no service right but we're holding hands and we wrote stuff and we're going to bark at people and tell them to save. Well, we're going to be out here innovating. Tesla's always leading from the front. I see you guys on the next one. Everyone loves to hate Tesla. And the last coal plant in Hawaii sounds like a good thing. The people chose it. 
and they made a move. Shout out to the electric company, the Tesla staff for doing everything they're doing and much love to everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can get this hot fire. And remember, with Tesla, it's electric, baby. Woogie, woogie, woogie.